Hi everyone, I'm going to record a quick video because I have a few minutes this afternoon free and and uh, I'd like to show you how to use Microsoft Excel or a spreadsheet to do a graph and, and get linear regression data from it. This is something we did quite a few times in, in lab last fall. We'll do it again this spring in lab. But for right now what we need it for is to help us do the number nine from the web assigned homework. So you can see I've entered the numbers already for this vapor pressure as a function of temperature. And when we have a, a series of data like this, the idea is that we really should be using that first equation that I gave in class, where we have the natural log of vapor pressure as a function of one over temperature um, and not the second version of that equation. So we're really supposed to, for that problem, create a graph, do linear regression, and use the slope of it, of that line, to calculate the enthalpy of vaporization. So I'm just going to show you right now how to use a spreadsheet or use Microsoft Excel to do the graph part of it. So I've got the data entered, and you can, you can put the natural log of vapor pressure and 1 over temperature in either column. It doesn't matter. But it's easier to have your x values on the left because Excel will default to that usually. And so I'm just going to enter 1 over temperature in this column C. So the way to do that is you hit the equal sign, which tells Excel that here comes a formula or a calculation. I'll just do 1 over, and then I can click on the cell B2, and it'll do that calculation for me. We can see the numbers. And you don't have to repeat that calculation. A spreadsheet's designed to, to do it for you really quickly. So you just grab the bottom of the cell, drag it down, and it'll do it for all these other numbers as well. So that's really nice. If we had a 1,000 numbers, we could do it just about as quickly. And then we need natural log of the vapor pressure. So I'll hit equal sign LN. And I need a parenthesis so it knows it's doing that mathematical function. And then we could click on the cell to get A2, or I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Click on that, drag it down. Okay. Now we want to insert the graph. So I'm going to highlight the data and go up here and hit Insert. There's all these different kinds of graphs or charts that we can use. The one that we use in scientific graphing is a scatter plot. So that will actually plot mathematically the Y values versus the X or x values. A line plot won't do that at all. I don't even know what it's good for, frankly. Um, sorry. And so here's our graph. Inserted it. Now we could spend some time and make this look really nice. We could change the scaling on the x and y axis so it fills up more of the screen. But And we could add some axis labels here. But I'm not going to take the time to do that now. We don't really need it for a calculation. What we really need is just the linear regression. So to do that, you can see we have a nice straight line. What we're going to do is right click on any of the data points and insert the trend line. So we just click add trend line. I'll tell it I want the equation. And then for lab, we usually use R squared as well to see how good of a, a straight line did we get. Click close. And we're done. So we've got the slope is minus 5,871. And so you can use that number then to solve the problem for number nine on the web assigned homework. So from the equation, uh, slope is equal to minus enthalpy of vaporization over the gas constant R. So you just plug in this slope, solve for enthalpy of vaporization. And that's really the part. Obviously, I can't ask you to work with this Excel spreadsheet on the test. It's just that last part of it. Uh, that you need to be able to do for the calculation, but then also being able to understand the equation and the results enough. So if you're given a graph like this, would you understand what to do with it? So that's really, really the goal here, to understand the relationship between vapor pressure and temperature. All right, thanks. Hopefully that was helpful. I didn't really rehearse it. <laughs> so we'll, hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions, um, feel free to post online or stop by my office on Monday and have a good weekend. Thanks.